Rebuilding together is meaningful. Rebuilding together is is hope for people who don't have it anymore. Rebuilding together is the community all getting together, making the neighborhood a better place to live in. My name is Leanna Purnell, and I care for people with disabilities. We do everything for them here. We give them meals, make sure they stay clean, make sure they visit doctors. Anything that it would do for me, we do for them. I've been living on this block ever since 1967, 45 years. And I think it's a wonderful thing that's being done here today. Got a brand new range, microwave. I have three rooms being painted. I have a brand new bathroom. And they're planting flowers and all. So I think it's just a wonderful thing. I never thought I would have so much done without cost. <laughs> it's just great. See all the young people working. Something I've never seen in my lifetime. Rebuilding together to me is it's collaboration. We're we're providing services for homeowners, but we're also working with homeowners to you know to get that work done. So it's all about it's a lot about collaboration. It's a lot about empowerment and um, you know improving the qualities of lives of folks who you know might be able to do these things on their own, but maybe they just need a little leg up. And that's uh, sort of the vital role that I see that rebuilding together plays. One of the most rewarding things about this position for me is being able to work directly with homeowners. I do a lot of outreach, and so I engage directly with folks going to community meetings, uh, giving presentations, working one-on-one -on -one with homeowners, and sort of helping uh, see them through start to finish on, uh, on a project. My husband had been laid off from work. He'd been working uh, with this company for about, I guess, about 13 years and in concern of being able to make ends meet, I got a, a job, a low paying job that uh, required me to work at night and then I was home with my little one in the day and my husband was heavily involved in trying to get another job and also some training programs to enhance his skills and so our finances, our income was very minimal at that time. We knew we needed a roof on the house, but he had a garage door that was just open and just wouldn't shut. And so we were concerned about the security with that, but we just didn't have a way to do anything about it. That, with some uh, insulation issues also, um, very cold in the kitchen because of some openings in the garage um, ceiling, which led to the floor here. So the kitchen was just ice cold in the winter time. When we heard about Rebuilding Together, it was through a neighbor. She said, you know, there's this, this uh, organization called Rebuilding Together, and if your uh, income levels uh, are in a certain area, uh, you could qualify to get repairs done on your home, and it just sounded like something I never heard of before. So my husband went to the meeting and filled out the paperwork, and when we were told that, that we did qualify, it was just, it was like a dream. It was just a dream come true. And all those beautiful people came with such care and such diligence and such devotion to making our home a better place, a safer place. And my heart just, just melts. Um, again, I'm so thankful that I, I could just melt and cry. Rebuilding Together is impacting people's lives through physical repairs. There's no doubt that when you walk out of someone's house and they haven't had a kitchen and the stress that they felt when it's raining in on them and their family, they couldn't have family over. Like, there's so many ways that we're impacting families that we don't measure or think to measure. And people talk about being less isolated and more connected to their community and, and a lack of stress over the physical structure of their house. Those are things that I didn't think of but are what make me love this job. I mean, it was hard work for all of us, I guess, to have, to me, to have strangers in your home. But it turned out really, really nice, and I think we talked more. Everyone that I spoke to that participated, we still can't believe it. We know it happened because we benefited from it. 
and we'll tell everybody it was worth it. It was worth it. I'm just happy. I can't tell you. I wake up happy now. I go to bed happy. Things that I worried about trying to fix. My husband is dead. My father is dead. Just to have someone to trust that you can fix things properly and right without getting over on me because I'm a woman. And the inspector and everyone who has come here has been honest and helpful. So I'm happy. I am really happy. Well, first of all, it's, give, it's giving the community a hand-in-hand -hand bridge between, I guess you would call the haves and the have-nots, and to give, to give people that maybe don't have a better start. I'm just happy to be a part of it, to be able to lend my time and my skills to, to make some, in, in this case, we're building a, a playground for the children, you know, going to people's neighborhoods, beautify their homes, and it just makes people feel good inside. You, you'd be amazed with a fresh coat of paint, a new set of stairs, a new bathroom, it, it, it brings joy to the heart. So that, that's what we built Philadelphia means to me. It means giving people a little bit of help, a little bit of hope, a little, and a fresh start. Thank you.